This is my ATC 70. I got it for 1200 bucks. Kinda like how you see it. Minus the pole start, minus the plastics. Um, the guy was a G. He had it for like 1250 bucks, and I told him I'd take it. And he had 10 guys offering him more money for it, but he held it for me, so pretty sweet. Um, put the pole start on it. Originally, I was gonna put black plastics on it because it came with a black tank. But then I found out that it was not even close to the right tank. It was actually like really jank. It was sitting on the oil cooler. It was sitting on the carb. He put a spacer up so these fenders actually wouldn't fit properly. So I bought these cheapo black plastics just to try them out. They're not great. I wouldn't recommend them. They're really flimsy and cheap. You can just tell compared to the Myers. But I have three sets of Myers, green, red, blue, because I have five 70s. I'm hoarding them. It's the way she goes. But I have that original tank off of a pit bike. Somebody put it on a pit bike, and I kept it. And I'm going to do a red one, I think, and it's going to be sweet. So basically, I'm going to do fenders, tank. I got to clean the carb. I got to put the exhaust on. Should probably do an oil change and i'm pretty sure that's it but i'm gonna get after it i also got a clutch cable probably gonna put that on i got this exhaust from atc 70. i like it it's quality the bends they show but i have used and it's got tig weld which is nice i've used the chinese ones and they're like forty dollars cheaper and they just don't line up specifically the stud is too close to the pipe so you can't really get the nut on i've had to put a socket on there and put a little dent in them to make them fit so i'm really hoping that that one actually fits properly sadly on this tank some goon decided to bend the port down so i'm probably not going to bend it back because it's going to snap off with my luck i'm just going to run it i mean it's a freaking 70. It's going to be fine. I had knee surgery, so yeah. Anyways, one my favorite thing about this thing is he freaking put a back brake on it. A foot brake. Oh, geez. Let's dump that off the stand. So cool. So it has a handbrake and a foot brake for the back. Very cool. I like it. It's 140 swap GPX. It ran okay, but not great. And I just pulled this exhaust off and there was no gasket crush washer in there. And that makes them run horrible. So that's good news because it should run a whole lot better. It had no plastics when I got it. So he just had a regular pit bike exhaust that ran right there and would not let the fenders go. So I had to buy the, the fancy bent pipe. And that's first order business. I was gonna strip this thing completely down, uh, sandblast it and paint it including the forks, and I'm still going to. I'm just gonna do it when I actually can move, because right now I can't. Um, trying to drag a frame around and paint it, and there's snow on the ground, so not worried about it. I'm just gonna get it going, because I wanna ride it. Anyway, I'm gonna install the exhaust real quick, and then I'm probably gonna do the carb after that. I'm gonna take that kickstart off, because I do not need it. Yes. All right, I immediately ran into a problem. It's hitting the clutch. It's not even close to where it needs to be. And the clutch is completely in the way. <sighs> so, yeah, I don't know what I can do to make that fit. Mmm, gosh. Lovely. First thing, first issue. That's how she goes. Okay, I was borrowing trouble. It fits nicely. But obviously this exhaust was not made for the engine with the clutch here, which is kind of funny, but because that's usually where all the aftermarket Chinese engines are. So I got to run the cable on the outside and she's definitely going to want to burn. Oil cooler lines are going to want to burn and coil is going to want to burn. So. Uh, coil is going to be easy. Oil lines will be easy. They'll just kind of look janky because I'm probably going to freaking zip tie them. And yeah, wouldn't be the first cable to burn. Going to need a throttle cable. 
Throttle cable is also going to want to burn. So a lot of zip ties, but I don't really know what to do here because this cable runs through the triple or forks is what I should say. And it's going to want to press right against it. So I could run it outside, but that's like mega ghetto. I don't want to do that. I wish I could run it on the inside, but there's just no way. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But besides that, exhaust works pretty good. It looks nicely exhausty and it actually fit really nice. And, and you could put a nut on there perfectly. So it beat the Chinese right there. Yeah, I like it. Just gotta figure out all these cables. Carb is removed. Um. I think he was trying to get it to run better by sticking a giant O-ring in there. He probably thought he was leaking air through his carb because of that gasket. I've done the same thing. I've chased everything and it was that stupid exhaust gasket, but you live and you learn. Anyways, gonna remove that because the cap was rubbing on the frame because of that donut. Anyways, got it off. Definitely due for a clean. It's got stuff in it. Yep. I'm surprised it even ran as good as it did because that's pretty nasty. But quick clean on the Chinese carb, slap it back together, and she should just fire right up once we get the tank on. It's gonna be mint. Decided I'd get this oil draining while I'm cleaning the carb, and it looks like it's its first oil change. So it's a celebration. It's kind of funny, these engines are actually pretty good if you change the oil once in a while. So we're going to really hope that this thing lasts. If it doesn't, I got a couple spare engines, but I like this engine. I don't want it to be bad. Definitely going to run some Lucas because, yeah. Anyways, change your oil. Got the carb clean. Got all the ports cleaned. I checked the air fuel um, adjuster, and it's one and a half turn out, which for our elevation works perfect. Should work perfect. Clean the float. And most importantly, I just dropped a piece. You can see light through. So we are golden. Put it back together. Yes. So that's the O-ring it's supposed to have. Not really an O-ring, just a gasket. That's the O-ring that they put in there. And they cut the spring, which isn't amazing. I have an extra, I'll probably go grab it. I was like, man, I might as well check my needle. Sure enough, they tried adjusting the needle instead of putting the exhaust gasket in, so I'm going to put that right in the middle and put it back together with probably a new spring. I'm going to go grab one out of my spares, and we'll have that fixed. It'll be gold. Okay, for some reason, I misplaced my stash of carburetors. I probably have 50 old carburetors sitting in a box somewhere, and I haven't used them in so long that I don't know where I put them. They're either in the bus or the Connex or a truck or somewhere, but I don't have them. So we have the old spring in there that's cut and it returns so we're not too worried about it this is all going to be coming apart again within the next year so i'll fix it then um i got my cables out of the way as you can see zip tie zip ties under here and that's all i could figure i don't care about the cable because i think that cable that i have over there is too short Otherwise, it'd be on right now because I'm going to put higher bars, pretty sure. Um, I'm worried about the exhaust. The exhaust is expensive. Cables are cheap. So I just put a bunch of freaking, like, aluminum heat tape for chimneys and such on there. And it's going to work perfect, not going to lie. But clutch is situated. Um, also, my bearings in there were really crusty. And it would be so easy to take this apart if I had working legs, but I don't. So WD-40 for now. Look at how quality, man. Now it turns lovely. Okay, so basically, I think I'm going to put the air... Oh, oil. Oil. Don't forget oil. I'm going to put the air filter in. Oil should be about a quart, but we're going to check. Gas tank. And then plastics. And it's basically done. Except for the axle needs to be tightened up and locked in place. I replaced those brakes with EBC pads or shoes um, the other day. Anyway, I was going to tear it all apart and I'm like, dude, 
you're a freaking potato right now. Do not tear it apart because it's just going to be horrible. You can't, I mean, everything's a mess because I can't move anything. The poor CR500 is just sitting in the corner. Anyway, that's a, that's a story for another day. We're going to get back to this. Oil change, air filter, yes. Okay, we got oil in, we got air filter in, and tank's not going to fit. Woohoo, who would have thought? Freaking oil coolers in the way. Figured that would probably be an issue. I don't even know why the freak they're running an oil cooler. Gosh dang it. But it looks like it's going to hit the carb too. Which is like so lovely. Um, yeah, so she might be staying black. And I might be taking a bubble tank off one in the backyard. Because I think that's going to be the only one that's going to fit. Which is really disappointing. Because I wanted this to be red. But I'm kind of confused how people are running these swaps with, with the stock tank. Because that carb is like sticking way out. There's no way it can't stick way out. But, I mean, <laughs> she ain't gonna fit. Like that, yeah, ooh. Ooh, gosh dang, that looks good. Dang, I'm, I'm just gonna run it like that. <sighs> yeah. Pretty bummed, honestly. Pretty freaking bummed. Don't know what I'm gonna do about it. So, yeah. So I pulled the carb off and I loosened the oil cooler um, and it's still freaking hitting. It's not even in, still hitting. And I honestly don't know how I can make that carb fit underneath there. I, I don't know how that's gonna be possible for me. <sighs> so yeah, I don't think it's gonna work which is really freaking disappointing. Really disappointing. So yeah, yep, pretty sad. Well, I'm back here under storage. Look, Trizinger 60 and three more 70s. And anyway, this is the bubble tank that I got and it's gonna go with the black plastics. I'm trying not to give up on the red plastics because I'd prefer it to be red and this one to be black because it's a beater. But uh, that would give me enough room. That tank would, for sure, for everything. So that might just have to freaking be the move. Sadly, I'm under a tarp being crippled and I'm probably gonna have to pull this seat off. Yeah, it's unbolted right there. Oh gosh, anyway. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my carbs because I'm trying to find a, an intake that'll work for that carb that'll sit lower. I just honestly don't know if it's possible. We might be spray painting that sucker black and throwing her together. <sighs> yep. Yep. Loving it. I really want to build this first gen. I believe this one's 73. It's engine swap. Got some ghetto hand dilly, but <laughs> anyway... Anyway, back to trying to figure this out. Thought I'd check in the old U-Haul. Couldn't, even if it was in here, I couldn't get to it, but obviously it's not. Wish I could have my bikes out ripping. Too bad there's snow on the ground, but uh, hey, maybe I should snag one of those 600cc bullet bike engines and throw in the 70. That'd be fun. Well, we got the bubble tank, but it's not gonna work because you gotta weld. Which I knew, but I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just try and trick myself and thinking it's gonna work, but it's not gonna work, so. Yep, and that's actually a Z50 tank. It's off a Z50, so. Oh, huh, yeah, thought you wanna know that. Well, not gonna lie, I forgot I was filming a video and I kinda got pissed off, so I, I didn't care enough to film, but boom, there she is. It's black. Um, this is the tank that it came with, and it is not an ATC 70 tank. It is like, I have no idea what it is, but I ended up getting it to clear the carburetor. It's, 
it really isn't mounted in the front as you can see it's just chilling there but it's bolted down in the back and you know what i'm okay with it for now it looks good it's got a custom airbrush skull on it that's the whole reason i bought these black fenders was for that tank because i was like well i have it i might as well freaking use it and here we are i got the front fender mounted that was fun had to take the tire off um got a new fuel line with a fuel filter mounted and the back plastics are on and she's freaking done and i'm really pumped because i did not think i was going to get this wrapped up today and i really don't like when projects don't get finished but that's usually how it goes anyways so now i'm going to clean up and I'm going to wheel this thing out of here and take some pictures. So I should have filmed when I was doing the tank and stuff, but I just really wanted to get it done. It's getting late. Anyways, I'm going to wheel this out, take some pictures. Oh, I got to make sure I got enough oil in there. I want to fire it up. Mm, I'm going to fire it up. Yes. said and done besides the horrific squealing break and i mean horrific i'm pretty pumped with it also after doing a bunch of wheelies um engine started smoking it's not smoking horribly but it puffs a little bit here and there so it looks like a 160 rebuild will be in order soon and i definitely got to figure out why that break is squealing if anybody has any ideas it is brand new EBC shoes. Perfect drum, not a speck of rust. I mean, perfect mating surface. All, all the brake shoe points where they mount were greased up. I, it's, it's so bad. It's squealing horrifically. But besides that, really pumped with it. It looks slow on video. It's pretty fast. I think it needs to be faster. My dad does not think it needs to be faster. But yeah. So... I don't really care too much about how good my videos are. I really don't. Um, they're kind of fun to make, so I throw them together. Uh, if you want more low quality content, subscribe, hit that like. I might record more, we'll see. Definitely some shorts. I, uh, I do dirt bikes, trikes, cars, lots of cars. In the future, more car videos when I can actually work on them. Working on getting a new shop. Supercharged Miata, Turbo MR2, Nova, 57 Chevy, Porsche 944, Datsuns, 240Z, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, appreciate it. We had fun. Kind of. Now that it's together, we had fun. All right, we'll see you later.